Say, kids, what time is it? It's kind of like watching TV, but, you know, in your car. 104.7 The Cave, Mike the Intern, Jay Stevens in the studio, Dark Side of the Stream, episode 152. Jay's pick this week, Untold, Johnny football whatever happened to johnny manziel i was always curious that's why he picked this documentary i, I can was tell always you. curious i can there, tell you what there happened there it to was him. looking me in netflix there he was he squandered all his he's talent be, and he ain't well, doing nothing that's gotta what be, happened. he's got to be like a businessman now he's out of the nfl he's got to be making millions somewhere right nada what the hell well we can either talk about the end now or we can build to that. <laughs> yeah, we kind of just, <laughs> spoiler alert. Uh, well, let's start. No, the- I honestly was like, cool. I'm curious to hear his story, how it panned out. Well, he did not get his uh, stuff together. Just for reference, if you ever go or if, if Jay or myself ever have a Wikipedia page, which we should, but we don't, and you go through someone's page and the list of accomplishments and your problems i don't just say he <laughs> the controversies nuts. part of that page is larger than your accomplishments you have an issue and such is the case All with right, johnny well, well let's start at the beginning let's 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 rewind back um back. yeah it, it's it's a crazy story um, he was a good college player right high school and college oh dude high school Amazing, and college right? he was unbelievably good he's a texas kid and if you know anything about texas yeah, football I, those those families those kids they work their butt off. That's why, of course. Friday Night Lights. That's what Patrick thing Mahomes, like. Texas yeah. kid. Yeah, I mean, you it, you, you if you want to, <laughs> a lot of sometimes uh, families will move to Texas. So if they have a talented kid, just so they can play Get in certain better. high schools. Which he, his dad did that, right? Transferred uh, uh, into play for this other coach certain, that was yeah. a little more hard nosed. And, and, and that I will say that, you know, I know that <laughs> Jay likes to pick these documentaries with certain people because he knows it gets me fired up because I, especially oh, when I it comes to I would have made you watch Jake Paul. I know, I know. But at the same time, especially in this case, it's I mean, football it's, just, season. it's like, dude, why? It's so aggravating when you see guys that act like this, but there is a reason and we'll get into that. But I will say going into this, I was like, God, Jay, why'd you pick this? But in the beginning, when you start to kind of see how – where, where he was in, in the talent that he had yeah. as a kid. It's really cool. It's also really sad because, and like I talked about when we were a couple days ago, when we were talking about this, like Aaron Hernandez is a good example of a really talented kid yeah. where at some point someone should have stepped in and said, hold on here, hold on. We, you are an incredibly talented young Stop man, rolling around with those but clowns. your brain hasn't yeah. developed enough as an adult to where you can use it's like with great res- power comes great responsibility you have all this talent but you haven't developed as a person enough to be in situations where you can make smart choices as far as what you need to do in your life i.e all the controversies he's had because if someone would have stepped in and said hey hey whoa 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 maybe you should finish college maybe you shouldn't declare for the nfl just yet maybe you know all yeah. these all these different steps in his life where someone should have said hey hold on I can kind of see the writing on the wall. Pump the brakes. Let's pump well, the brakes. I think maybe nobody did. But I think it, maybe at that point it's even too late because if you're in the in there in college playing and they want you to come out early to make millions and millions of dollars, it's you hard. Gotta, you got to do it, man. It's, you got to You got to do it. You, you but know? you don't though. That's the thing. There are a lot you're of risking, kids that you're don't. risking it all though. Man. I, I get it, and and you are. But what's he have now? Well, that's why I think the problem started prior to that. But I think still, that's what I'm saying. School, what, with you know? your argument, if you don't take the money and you still screw it up, it what's the difference? Yeah, it wouldn't. I don't think it would have made a difference if he would have stayed in college. I mean, who knows? It's all, I it's all he hindsight. Was, he was goofing off in college the whole time. Oh, he was goofing off. I'm sure he was goofing off. off as far back yeah. as high school. I mean, that. I mean, he he got busted with just the fake just, ID when he was still a minor. So it wasn't personality, like personality. Yeah. I think you know, he's just a wild dude that happened to be talented at football. Could have been. We'll talk more about Johnny football in this episode, Dark side of the stream next on 104.7 the cave 104.7 the cave mike the intern jay stevens back in the studio dark side of the stream episode 152 untold johnny football can i just say these untold series are really good some of them are really good I mean, it, it gives you a little bit more insight into certain things that you may thought like yeah you like thought you knew, knew the story but yeah maybe not, you're like kind the, of pieces yeah the fake dead girlfriend one was dude great, that one was know? Real, like the, uh, I just watched the, yeah. the Hall of Shame one. That was a great one. Yeah, about steroids. It, uh, the yeah, the fake girlfriend one. I feel so sorry for that dude. Ah, uh, so 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 sorry. Another college dude. player, very uh, talented, crazy, that crazy story in the NFL. Yeah, uh crazy story. Anyway, we're talking about Johnny Football, and we left uh, talking about him getting busted for a fake ID when he's a minor. But even after that, um he would go to uh the Manning Passing Academy, which is a pretty 
big deal. Prestigious deal, yeah. And uh, got kicked out for oversleeping. Yeah, he didn't show <laughs> I mean, up. He kind of said, screw it. His work ethic was actually crappy. The one thing I, I noticed that, you know, when they had him, when they, they busted him for signing autographs for money or whatever, mm -hmm. I don't see how that's a problem, man. If you know, if not now, it's it's not. I mean, you the NCAA is like have they changed the rules. They, well, I don't know about the autograph thing, but kid, the athletes can now make money with endorsement deals and stuff, and it makes well, sense. Can they really good? Because <clears throat> yeah. yeah, it's terrible. Like if you if you're really good at making computers and you're in high school start selling computers, there's no problem. Yeah, you know, I feel if you, you play music, I played in in in, yeah, oh, yeah. in high oh, school. Yeah. And made, it got paid. Oh yeah. Why can't you do it being a football player? It's the weirdest thing in the world. Well, it's changed now, and why does a university get all the money? Right in it's the NCAA, not, not good. Um, and now that's changed. But the autographs thing, yeah, again, it, that at that point was illegal. But you said you did say something though, and that is work ethic, and that is something yeah. that again they didn't help this guy develop. You, he was had extreme amount of raw talent, right? And sometimes and that, that, gets, that gets really, you by so far, so and, you know. And that got came really easy to him, but no one actually taught him that sometimes the journey is better than the the yeah. goal, right? So. He didn't get to develop again all these other things that may have helped him in his personal life on the field as well because it was just so easy pick up football and pew, yeah, throw it over yeah, that mountain. Yeah. It makes you, it so, does make you lazy if you're really it, good. Yeah, yeah, because he didn't have to work for it. He never under, had to understand how to figure that out. But yeah, it just kept getting worse and worse. Eventually, he would declare after his time in Texas A and M for the NFL draft. Uh, he became a Brown, which, uh, you know, that was, a, that was a tough one too. to go there, <laughs> you know, like, dude, didn't make things better. No, it didn't. And then, uh, uh, the whole, the, I always cracks me up about the, him being in the casino, like he was sick, but he was at a casino when they were supposed dude, to play their last game. And then crazy, it's like, man. again, all of these things come down to just one crazy, fruit, fruit thing is that the kid just didn't care. And, and no one checked him on it. Right. And, and you would think, you know, out, you get out of the NFL, you have all this money. You'd probably be in business somewhere. At you least know? invest it. Right. He's still goofing off. That's the craziest um, part of it all. He's still just it's it's partying. it well, we'll get to a little bit more because that wasn't it. It wasn't just after the college and NFL. He still had some time and still some more stupid mistakes to make. And we've got plenty left to talk about Jeez. in this episode of Dark really? Side of the Stream on 104.7 the Cave. 104.7 the Cave. Jay Stevens, Mike the intern in the studio, Dark Side of the Stream, episode 152, Untold Johnny Football. I know it's going to feel like <laughs> we've spent this entire episode just yeah. dogging one guy, but it's kind of deserved. And we're talking about factual well, stuff that happened. might be here. one of the biggest busts ever, right? Ryan Lee for him. Who's the, big, <laughs> I'd who's mean, the bigger bust? I would probably, I mean, Menzel probably because of, again, the raw talent he had and what he could have done with it in some regard if he had developed it developed as a person and as an athlete but again if certain things come easy to people and they never have to work for anything they're never going to have to learn they're never going to learn that as they get older and obviously he didn't um but one thing i also wanted to bring up is when uh uh rosenhaus dropped him his age is uh his agent that was the first time in 27 years that guy dropped yeah agents ain't gonna let you go an nfl player they want that money so that should tell you something. That guy would stick with a lot of people through a lot of yeah. bad things. He probably rode through some gun charges guy with guys. He it, rode through some DUIs with guys. No problem. We'll get and, through this. And probably all in the above. And and for some reason, the writing on the wall told this guy, hey, this ain't worth it. Get time. out. So Man. obviously, yeah, after that, he would go into uh, kind of different um, football leagues. He was in the uh, Spring League. He was in the CFL, AAF, FCS. As recent as 2022, I believe, and uh, pretty much uh, that's it. He's he's tried to kind of do some indoor football stuff with some buddies that are investors, but after that, all that money, all that talent, for not. Why don't we bring him out here for the Springfield Dude, Arena? Nah, Dude. Nah, to the, uh, Can we start that movement? I mean, bring Johnny in. Do you, do you, I don't, do you really want him? You really? No, I mean, he, I feel like he needs a good friend. I'd be a good mentor jay him. and johnny that sounds like a wonderful sitcom that's the that's the reality um, show um, oh, johnny manzel you two guys two guy. opposite guys i'm a former football player and we're rocker, friends dude. it's johnny and jay he looks like he could party dude that would oh god we Let's come up with out. the best ideas on this thing i I'm dude, it start starts next, a sitcom. i don't think they have a, a quarterback yet for their team here let's let's get him here and then we'll see johnny, johnny and jay and that's the, I'm emailing the, the lurkers this afternoon. 
We're going to yeah. figure this I'll out. Email uh, the GM. I just need a piece of this pie. Can I write the episodes? Or... Let me get Johnny Manziel. Dude, you know how much press coverage we'd get? You would. I would be in the back scene just kind of puppet mastering we'll bring him thing. in here on on monday mornings after the games and we can talk about the game uh, ned would love jay, it. jay and johnny ned reynolds we'll bring sitcom. ned reynolds in too i don't know we'll see if that can happen i Amy. wonder how much he costs probably Amy. not a whole lot Amy. either way we'll give you our reviews next dark side of the stream on 104.7 the cave 104.7 the cave mike the intern jay stevens back in the studio one more time it is dark side of the stream episode 152 untold johnny football i got it right so uh, i thought we we did a pretty good job especially in the last break and not using this entire time just knocking johnny menzel came up with a really good idea for a sitcom jay and johnny and hopefully we can get Johnny's him in the town for the springfield lunkers play, and him and I plays, do a plays for the springfield uh, indoor football league that'd be great start yeah, the movement get arena. that GoFundMe started and let us know where we can donate so uh how many deflated footballs would you give this uh documentary? how many unsigned footballs unsigned uh just bare bones uh wilson football ah eh, three you know yeah i was solid. curious where he was and i, I knew the out. answer no I, didn't know, way. I didn't know the answer at all see I oh you didn't know what like he all the leagues and stuff he did after no the, not after at the, all i didn't yeah, know okay. i, I figured well, i valid. figured by now he's probably out of football but um a successful businessman that's what i figured because that's Negative. usually the path because know? he didn't learn i own some car dealerships you know yeah. no uh, he didn't learn the lesson of no, how to work still, for the just, stuff he needed to get. Still just party, party, and just uh, whatever comes easy to him. So, kids, that's a lesson. If you are talented, you still got to develop that talent, and you still got to learn Hard how to work. Hard work beats talent all day, every day. I would give it uh, two and a half, just because I do not like Johnny Menzel. Yeah, Either I, way, um, you don't like the stream. You don't like those flash in the pan money guys you, know, <laughs> you don't no. like those uh, youtubers uh it just i know you get i know you get like oh hey yeah, i like it i like great. it uh, hey the guy like guys. the guy like the party I, i'm down with that i i i understand but again it's just like i don't these guys they they really irritate me because again you see especially when you played sports and you see these kids that have 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 no talent at all they're small but they got all the heart in the world and you know they may barely get to play four plays in a season right and they're out there for those three plays and they're just getting destroyed on the practice squad they do it for the love of the game you know what i mean oh, and, 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 and you you really get to see the the two uh two sides of the coin when you watch quarterbacks with patrick mahomes working and you watch johnny mm-hmm. Manziel, the just a different work Kobe, ethic. Kobe Bryant, another great example. Kobe First Bryant. one in, last one out, and probably one of the most raw talents in the entire NBA. And then you probably All also day. got NFL, I mean, NBA guys, that, you know, Iverson. Yep. Practice. I'm, I'm practice. Some guys just showed up and did it, and some didn't. And yeah, that's you, just, you can get you can get by, but if you want to achieve the top of the mountain, you got to put in some work. Hell that, yeah. Is that the lesson we learned? I think so. And the next documentary we're going to watch is on Netflix. It's called Unknown Cave of Bones. And uh, of we're bones. going to get a little archaeology dig going on. Indiana Jones and Jay Stevens. Uh, I, watch these every Saturday, every Thursday, 9 a.m. Yeah. on Facebook. Or watch YouTube them every Live. day. What are you talking about? Watch every them every day. day. Every Download day. them on podcast on our 104.7 The Cave app. Or just listen to it live during my show at 9 a.m. or Jay's show at 6 p.m. every Thursday. Or have us over to watch it at your house. Make we us- are available for parties. I'm Mike the intern. Hey, this is Jay yeah, Stevens. Yeah, this is where we're on it. This is where we're on it. <laughs> Reminding you, we watch movies, so you don't, have to. you don't have to. It's, talk- it's Dark Side of the Stream on 104.7 The Cave.